Hey, what's happening, guys? We're back with the same setup we had yesterday. Here's where we left off. We talked about the three resistors in parallel, as you can see here from our little circuit diagram, and how Ohm's law affects things. There's our values for the resistors. There's the value for the current through them. And there's the voltage through them. So, in parallel, the voltage always remains the same because the voltage always comes from the same point. You know, this is this is our positive rail and it feeds each resistor individually. So we know what the resistance is, we know what the voltage is, and then what changes is the current through them. So let's swap things over and change this to a series circuit. So to do that, we have the power coming from the positive rail going to the first resistor. And then we will come out of the first resistor and into the second resistor out of the second resistor into the third resistor and out of the third resistor and to the ground rail. So now we have a series circuit. We come up here and we look at the power supply, turn it on. We're back at our six volts. Let me zoom in back down here. And let's bring in the meter and take some measurements. All right, I got the meter in here. We're set for voltage. And if we take a reading on the first resistor, If I can actually <laughs> hold the probes in place with one hand so you guys can see what's going on, we get 5.9. So our V1 is 5.9 volts. And then let's take a look at the second resistor. trouble getting my hand in there today okay we're seeing 18 millivolts so 18.1 millivolts and finally the third resistor and we see 125 millivolts so now for our series circuit we see the voltage has changed Let's do some calculations. So, what do we know about series circuits that will allow us to calculate the values that we need here? Well, we know that in a series circuit, the current through each of the components is the same, and the voltage is the sum of the voltages across each component. So, all we need to do is measure the current through one of the components. We'll swap our meter here over like that. Crank it up to milliamps. Okay. 
And we should be able to just, well, tell you what I'll do. Is I'll pull this out here like this. And stick it over here. Why am I not getting anything? Am I not getting a connection? Hmm. Something strange in my neighborhood. Who am I going to call? Okay, we just bridged one out. And we're getting a current of one milliamp. And if we come over here and bridge out another one, about the same. And the final. Come on. About the same. So, always put your probes back to the voltage side, otherwise it's just a dead short. So we know that we have one, we'll call it 1.1 milliamp through all of these. Now you can use Ohm's Law to figure out the voltage, which of course is V equals I times R. Now remember, the voltage is the sum of the voltage through each of the components. So put your answers down below in the crazy old professor. We'll check them tomorrow. That's it. I'm out. Peace.